What up? Feral Comics update. So really happy to have gotten the next issue done. It was something that was my prime focus. I had an earlier version of the Feral Comics issue that went out, but upon rereading it, definitely found some things that I knew I should tweak. Uh, so here goes some of the sketches that I did kind of just to lay out the story for myself. And as you can see, a lot of it was gonna be based off of like these big splash pages and there was going to be two stories running concurrently, which was going to be the actual story of like what actually occurred. And then the sensei's narration of the story, which is the lesson that Juan has to learn to enable to help him with his next battle. And upon rereading, I saw how it got jumbled up and you couldn't really, it didn't flow the reading experience. So definitely it's good to have them done early because then... I definitely was able to retool it and just have a really strong issue. And there's a lot of things that I focused on on this issue. Like every issue of Feral Comics for me is an attempt to get better at different aspects of different things in the cartooning uh, endeavor that I'm in, right? So definitely was trying to really dial in my use of the aim guides because a lot of times my lettering comes out really fucked up. And I've heard a lot of people talk about how Proper lettering will take your comics a long way. And it makes sense for someone like me, like there's a reason why I'm not in the wordless issue of the Feral Comics Project. And that's because the way I tell stories, I use a lot of words. So for me, in my mind, if I can get my lettering game up a bit, I think it'll make me be able to tell my stories better. So that's one thing that I was really focusing on. Another thing that I kind of figured out how to do properly and without waste was zip -a tone I definitely feel that this issue, I got a better handle on when, where, and how to use the zip -a tone One thing that I will say that I did, which prior issues I didn't, was that I made a smaller copy of the art and then I just put zip -a tone on that. So this actually has a zip -a tone on it. And before I actually put it on the actual pages, so this is the art from uh, this last page. So this was that page, right? And so in prior times, I would have put zip -a tone on all this, which was just wasting the zip -a tone because really I just needed it on this portion of it here. And then I just uh, scanned this version of it to then make the copies that everyone else will get. Definitely just trying to use my tools better was uh, another thing that I really tried to dial into. And one of the things that I remember hearing from a different cartoonist, I forget where or how I came across it, but the cartoonist was talking about how you need to know when you gotta throw away the pen, marker, brush, whatever, and, and not to be too delicate with it. And it's something that I'm trying to get better at, of like, you know, this brush, pen, uh, this brush is just not giving me the quality that I need, toss it out, get the next one. And so that's something that I'm also trying to get better at, and I went through quite a bit of tools on this issue, but I wanted to keep that quality consistent throughout the issue, and I think I succeeded at it. So there's other things in the issue that I'm really happy with. There's a silhouette that I did, first silhouette that I saw and was like, it really did what I wanted it to do in that panel. So really happy with that. There's also a building that I drew in there with a skyline that I think came out pretty damn strong. And uh, like I said, narratively speaking, this shit is a hit. I worked really hard kind of constructing the way these uh, stories are going to be told, these Punch Rung Zen stories, and I can't wait to do the next two issues of Punch Rung Zen. That way you guys can see kind of the completion of one story arc because it definitely is uh, a three-act structure that I've kind of been shoehorned into that I kind of feel make the best kind of comics, but each issue in itself also has to have a three-issue structure and it's something that I worked uh, pretty consistently at to build and foster in the stories that I tell. And I'm really happy with the way I created this formula for the Punch Drunk Zen comic. So look out for those next issues coming out soon. The other thing that all the subscribers to the Feral Comics Project got was this Robocop kind of sketchbook, a uh, little mini zine. It's a one pager uh, diced up and definitely Robocop's one of my favorite characters and I have been contemplating doing kind of my bootleg Robocop comic. And it's something that I'm continuously working at and will eventually see the light of day, especially now that I feel I just have a better handle on what I'm up to and the way I want to do it and execute. So here I am working on the next issue already because that's how we have to do it in order to build those habits and maintain kind of the trajectory that I want to maintain. So I appreciate you guys for watching the video and to the subscribers, can't wait for you guys to get the issue. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Lights.